Hey, this is DMNY, and today I'm here talking about flight fins. Flight fins are an awesome accessory you can add to your board. They're going to help you do some cool jumps, as well as tricks once you get a little bit more experience. Now, coming up, I have some tips that I wish I would have known before I put my flight fins on, as well as an install and review. So before we get to that, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Vandalay Industries, for hooking me up for this sweet reflective gear. This gear keeps me safe while I'm riding and looking pretty sweet. Alright, thanks guys, enjoy the video. When I first got my flight fins, I was super stoked. So was my little buddy Potato Boat, mostly because I think he thought the video was about him. So when you open your box, you got your fins, you got your flight fender, and anything else you might have ordered. You're going to take your hardware and your instructions, give those instructions a quick look, and then you're going to get ready to start doing your install. Get your fender delete that you might have taken off as well as all your parts and then get to a nice little area and get organized. Take out all your bolts, put them aside maybe in an ashtray or a cup, and then you're going to pop that fender off. You can take it off without taking off your mag handle without a problem. Then you're going to get your delete back on, get your flight fender all bolted up, screw those screws on nice and evenly and you'll see you get a nice smooth finish. You're going to then take your fins, you're going to want to put all those bolts through the rubber beforehand and then makes it easier to line them up and then get ready to put on those fastening bolts on the back. It's pretty straightforward. Once you get your fastening bolts put on there, you can use some channel locks and a screwdriver. You're going to test out your sensors left and right and then both at the same time. Make sure you don't go flying off and do a nosedive. Then take those bad boys for a ride. Taking them out, I thought they were great right off the bat. I love the control, and I love that I could get locked in, go over potholes and stuff, and other rough parts of the cement without having to worry. I really like the way the tire looks. Call it tire porn <laughs> when you uh, have your tire just out there fenderless. But what happens with that is you get a big old wet leg. So I went back and bought a fender afterwards. Good piece of advice also is get some very cushy shoes like those Osiris's I just showed you. Those are my favorite riding shoes because, man, you are going to hit your feet on everything when you start jumping. I mean, you're going to hit the curb, the curb's going to hit you, the board, you name it. But it's all worth it because you're going to have a lot of fun. And once you get through that initial learning curve of, uh, you know, just keeping your balance and jumping and mostly getting a lot of confidence going, which is dangerous on a one wheel, I know, but, you know, you're going to start to be able to hit your stride and that's what you're going to love. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you're on the fence about flight fins, I'd say it's definitely worth it, even though they're a little expensive. Have a great day, guys.